Hi, and welcome to Swim Ireland's review of the swimming at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So today was the final day of heats in the pool. I'm a little bit sad, really. It's been uh, so lovely to watch all the swimming. I'm sure everyone's really been enjoying it, and the swimmers have definitely been leaving their mark in the pool. And uh, we had two swimmers in the water today. We had Danielle Hill in the 50 metre free, the shortest event, and we had Daniel Whiffin in the 1500 metre free, the longest event. So a bit of a contrast there. Um, but they both put in really solid performances, uh, which was great to watch. And I have absolutely loved seeing all the swimmers really give it 110% in the water. And you can really see that. Um, so we'll start with Danielle Hill. Um, she was a bit off her best, um, but I think it's really important not to focus too much negatively on the time. Um, she will be a little bit disappointed. Um, she was half a second off her, her best time, but with everything that's gone on, COVID, injuries, um, it was a real tough ask for her to make the qualification time to get to the Olympics. So to actually do that and step up at that stage and make a time, um, I think she should really be really proud of herself. Um, there's loads of positives to take away from the race. Uh, she was second fastest off the block. Um, so that just shows you that natural reaction speed that you need to be a really good sprinter. And she definitely has that. Uh, another positive is she's only 21. So she definitely still has enough in the tank uh, if she wants to swim on to Paris 2024. Um, um, so, yeah, lots of positives to take away for Danielle. Uh, she is a real gutsy swimmer. I know she's got a new opportunity with the ISL League, uh, and I'm sure she will do really good things in the future. So she's definitely one to watch. And then we had Daniel Whiffen, who has just been on fire at the Olympics. I mean, he is came out of nowhere, basically. He's always been, obviously, a really good swimmer. And he has just dropped so much time um, in the past few months, especially. Um, it, it's crazy. I think he's taken like 20 seconds off his 800 meter freestyle in, in, in months. Um, he has uh, he started his program in, in Lisbon with Martin McGann. And I think Martin um, has done phenomenally with him. Uh, I think he believed in Daniel uh, more than he believed in himself. So huge shout out to Martin um, for producing such a wonderful swimmer uh, in the club swimming situation and now um, Daniel is uh, moved over to Loughborough where I used to swim as well and it really seems to be suing him he is just going from strength to strength I mean it's important to note he has taken nearly 10 seconds off his 1500 meter time since April so he went 15, 16 in April. That was another massive Irish senior record. And then at the Olympic Games, he swam 15.07. And uh, he he is just, I think he is just a wild card, which is one to watch for 2024 as well. I think he is going to do some dangerous things in swimming. And also such a lovely guy. Um, so, yeah, it has been um, a pleasure to watch. And uh, he is he's definitely going to leave his mark on our swimming. And I just wish everybody the best of luck in the future. And I will be definitely following everyone really closely in the coming few more competitions that we all have.